Hi, my name is Zach, and you're watching Bite Size. Today I'm going to show you how I made this rocking horse for my daughter. To build this rocking horse, I started out with the design on the computer. When you do a design like this that's intended to be cut out by a CNC, one of the things that people don't realize is that there's actually a lot of work involved in doing the computer-aided manufacturing, or CAM, part of the process. This is the part where I have to tell the CNC machine which tool to use to cut out which features and how to cut them out. Luckily this design is pretty straightforward so there's not much to it, but some of my previous designs I've spent quite a bit of time on this step. I could film a lot of that process, but unfortunately it's not that interesting to watch. If you're wanting to learn Fusion 360 and design something like this, I would highly recommend checking out the course put out by the I Like To Make Stuff team. I'll have a link in the description where you can check that out. I think I'm going to go ahead and use inch and a half pine material for this build. Now this material doesn't always come with a great surface finish, so I'm going to be using a planer to plane down the thickness down to inch and an eighth. Once I've done that, I'll load each piece into the X-carve and cut it out. This video is sponsored by Inventables. I'll actually be using the Inventables X-Carve to cut out these pieces and assemble it together. If you want to learn more about the X-Carve, you can visit the link in the description. Now that I've got all the pieces cut out from the X-Carve, I'm going to clean them up using the flush trim bit on my router. Then I'll go ahead and put a round over on all the sharp edges. Before I clean all these pieces up on the router, I noticed that this piece in particular has a split that runs up the face here. And I knew that was going to be a potential issue when I selected this material, but it's something I think I can easily fix by drilling a hole into this face and filling it with a dowel and some glue. And I think that should strengthen it up just fine. So the plan is to insert the dowel here and span that gap and then I'll cut this off and sand it flush.
If you're interested in making a rocking horse like this, let me know down in the comments. If I get enough interest from people, I will create some plans that will be available for purchase on my website. Another great way to get the plans for the things that I build is becoming a Bite Size supporting member. You can do that by visiting patreon.com forward slash Bite Size or click the join button below. If you're new to Bite Size, you may not know that I make a lot of other cool project videos like this. I'll go ahead and put a link to a couple of those here at the end. If you like watching videos like this, please consider subscribing to Bite Size. That way you can keep up to date with the projects that I'm working on. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. My name is Zach and I look forward to seeing you next time.